culture has become more important and more central in people's lives and has provided a kind of set of private consolations. I, like any other person who works in the arts in Ireland, I care about Galway so much. I mean, it's, it's a place where the arts have been valued for decades uh, and centuries in terms of music and storytelling and myth. And I remember it from my early childhood as just a place of exotic beauty. Once a year when my parents would, in the summertime, pack us into the car and drive us over here, you felt that you were going to a very different place and a place that in some sense uh, was a repository of everything that was authentic and everything that was good and positive about Ireland and that there was a kind of dignity and decency and courteousness in how people regarded the arts and regarded the importance of that. There was never any sense that this was an imposition on you, you know, when you talk to people. But on the contrary, there was the sense that it was an inheritance. That this is something that, if you could only open your mind to it and open your heart to it, would enrich your life forever. And that it was somehow bound up with the landscape and the seascape and the accents and the idiom and the ghost of the Irish language being there, even in the English language. So to come to Galway at that time it was really a place of miracles. I still get a little shiver in the heart, you know, every time I am here. Here's some scene, her lady thinking she's like you.